Father Pasquale. You have been a former uh, rector major for six years and uh, soon after your service to the entire congregation, you have been very busy preaching retreats, animating the entire congregation and being at the service of the various provinces, um, taking care of uh, the spiritual welfare and well-being and um, giving your knowledge, sharing your knowledge in Salesian spirituality, in youth ministry and education. And uh, in the past six years, how do you look at the congregation and what are the, the areas that we have grown and uh, what is the status of the congregation at the moment? What do you perceive? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, the Rector Mayor, Father Angel Fernandez, because uh, he has entrusted uh, to me uh, the mission to be available for all the, for all the, for collaborating in the spiritual animation of the congregation, of the Salishan family, of the religious life in general terms, um, as much as I, as I am required. No? And in fact, I have been uh, very busy. I have had a very busy schedule. That has helped me to confirm what I knew. I mean, uh, the great dynamism which characterizes the, 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 the congregation. To confirm the, what I knew, I mean the very clear charismatic identity of the conference of the provinces the passion, the, apost the apostolic passion of the conference and so on. But at the same time, I, I, am, I have been able to, how can I say, to touch firsthand the challenges the conference and the communities are facing. Exactly for the same reason, because I am no more rector mayor, so how can I say the contact is much more informal. So I can see which are the problems, for example, on uh, prayer life. I see that conferences uh, tend to lose the prayer sometimes because the, uh, when I say that there is the risk of uh, workaholism, the problems that sometimes start up also among the in, in, in community life because of the difference among the generations. For example, in some parts, more and more uh, old conference and very few young conference. And finally, on the way of understanding and even uh, carrying forward the Salishan mission. So on the one hand, I have conferred what I knew. On the other hand, I have been able to touch first hand the problems and the, how can I say, also the weaknesses mm -hmm. of the congregation. Wonderful. And uh, yes, we are here for the chapter and we have this wonderful <coughs> theme, uh, what kind of Salesians for the youth of today? Um, and uh, how do you think that this, this theme will challenge us to renew our identity as Salesians and to march ahead as, uh, as a congregation? Well, the first thing that I would like to say is that we are present in 134 countries the world over. So the context, the settings from the cultural, religious, economic, social point of view are quite different. For that reason, the, the challenges from, the, from the, the, the regions are very different and, and, also, the, the, and also the answers uh, we need to, to give must be different. But I think that the, the most important fruit of this chapter could be the awareness that we need to, how can I say, to grasp the deep needs, the deep, the, 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 the deep aspirations of the young people. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we continue to give answers of the past for problems of tomorrow, new today. problems. Yeah. And they don't meet, they don't, they don't match. Mm -hmm. We need really to give answers. Eh? In order to do that, we need really to become much, much more aware that we are before a, a, new, a new generation from the cultural point of view. You know? And as I say, 
our ability should be to be able to grasp what the young people are expecting from us. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, going deeper into the theme, uh, this is uh, beautifully divided into three aspects. You have one, the first aspect of you know, knowing the whole world of the young and the mission among the young. <coughs> and the second aspect of the very, the identity of the Salesian itself. And the third aspect uh, is that of collaboration with the lay mission partners. Do we look at these three different parts as uh, distinct, as different, or is there some sort of um, unity among them? Well, according to me, the three, the three nuclei of the thin uh, chapter, no, are very intertwined, very interconnected that must be uh, kept united. Even uh, if we need to study one by one, but uh, without ever losing sight of their unity. Why? First of all, because mission is not a generic one. Mission is very clear for our solutions. Therefore, also formation must be also very specific. But at this moment, we, need, we have a new, a, a new element, which means the new pastoral subject, lay late, late people eh, in, in, in Salesian, Salesian conference, sharing, sharing a spirit, mission, and charism. So the first reason to keep together all the three nuclei is because these elements. But the second, and according to me, much more important, is that religious life is changing. We have, a, can I say, a new face of, re of religious life made up by four elements. The first one, just to look at the origin of the vocations. If we go to the statistics, or we go to just to the hall, eh, to the great hall, we can see that most of the conferences are not more Europeans, are not more from Latin America. Most of them come from Africa, from Asia, South Asia, and, and so on. And that uh, brings us a, a new challenge, multiculturality, and of course the, the challenge of the interculturality of the charism. In the past, we used to say Caris was born in Italy, in Valdoco, and all the, 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 the countries uh, we're asked to, how can I say, to incarnate, to inculturate the charism no more. Now the charism is intercultural. So how to do in order to preserve the identity of the charism without losing very important charismatic elements and without assuming some cultural elements that are not Salishan. So this is the first element. The second one, the new generations of the religious converts. Why? Because they are very sensitive to some elements, to some aspects, to some values, but very reluctant to another's ones. So what kind of formation in order to guarantee the Salishan identity? Eh? The third element is the priority given much more and more to the mission over works with a risk, the risk of losing the importance, uh, the, 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 the words, or, the, or saying they are not much more important. No. If we think just at the fact that Don Bosco didn't want to stay at uh, Pinardi, he drained Baldoco, he felt the need to set up the facilities, the structures for giving the, the, the young people the best of the opportunities. So we cannot lose the structures. But there is a big challenge, how to resignify our presences. What, how, how, what we need to do in order to, to make them much more significant, much more relevant. How to convert wars into Salishan presences. And finally, have the courage to set up new presences for the new needs of the young people of today. And the fourth element, the new, the new pastoral subject made up by religious and lay people uh, sharing 
mission, spirit, and so on. And the challenge in this case is the, the formation of the Salesian identity of the lay people, and at the same time, the, the formation together eh, in order exactly to, to be, uh, to be the, the new, the new, the new, how can I say, the new uh, pastoral subject that we need to, to be. Mm -hmm. One final question. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> when you appear in public, when, when we address you, we address you as former rector major, and whenever you uh, come for some official meetings. Uh, but we are also glad that you are part of uh, a local community, uh, a local formative community where you uh, are sharing your life with the confreres. And uh, so as uh, a confrere among confreres, as a brother among brothers, if I may ask you a personal question, as Father Pasqual, what is uh, close to you? What is very close to your heart? First of all, uh, I care about uh, fulfilling God's dream about me. Mm -hmm. I ask myself what God had in his mind when in his goodness he decided to call me to follow and imitate Jesus in the footsteps of Don Bosco. Right. Secondly, for 12 years, I have proposed to my conference to the, of the whole congregation in order to renew our Salishan life, charisma, and mission many aspects and I have the, how can I say, the moral duty of do what I have proposed to my conference in the past. And finally, I, how can I say, it's very close to my heart to feel the, to, to feel myself on the way of the whole humanity. Humanity is moving ahead and I would like really to walk with the whole humanity to towards God's goal on humanity. For me it's very important what the Gaudium Spes says. We are called to share Gaudium Spes, joys eh, and hopes, sor sorrows and expectations. But at the same time to feel on the way of the church, because the church at this moment is, uh, how can I say, is, is uh, having a, a very deep, deep change through the figure of Pope Francis, no? Mm -hmm. uh, he has wanted to renew the church, uh, giving a more evangelical, more uh, missionary, more merciful, more synodal flavor. And finally, I want to be on the way with the whole congregation. For me, my best year of salvation are not in the past, are in the future. That means I like to continue to walk with my congregation. For the Pascal, you're full of passion. <laughs> thank you very much for this interview. <laughs> thank and you. And thanks for all that you do for the congregation. Thank you. Thank you.